reason I took French is to, so I can talk to my grandparents, and the benefit, I can talk to my great aunt and great uncle in Quebec. <laughs> because I, uh, I would like to talk to my godfather in Switzerland and his family. And I had heard that it would be useful um, in terms of its uh, widespread use around the, around the world. Um, and that has proven true. I, now that I know more of the uh, statistics, it is the second most widely spoken language as a second language. Um, so it will help you in uh, a wide variety of areas across the world. Whereas, I guess, not to knock on Spanish, but Spanish, I mean, once you go out of that Western Hemisphere, um, it pretty much loses its usefulness. But French, I mean, the French speakers are in Africa, in Europe, of course, in Asia, um, in, even in uh, the Caribbean, the West. And I originally, like many, started taking Spanish in grade school because it was all my school offered. But when it came to uh, high school, I decided to try something different. Although I didn't choose it for the pragmatics only, um, it has definitely proven very useful. For example, when I was traveling to uh, last summer, although I've never been to France, for example, when I was in Egypt, um, I didn't speak a word of Arabic at all, and so I thought I was going to have a really rough time. But where no one spoke English, I was actually able to speak French, and that's pretty much the only way that I was able to survive there. So it's definitely proven very useful. You know, I took French because uh, my mom took French and she said she could help me out with it, but I quickly learned that she couldn't. But it was okay because it turned out to be uh, taking French was one of the best things that happened to me here. But I really enjoy taking French because you learn a lot of different things with vocabulary in regards to English classes even. I found that my use of literary devices in English was improved because I was able to learn them in my French class and I was able to understand them a little bit better. I took French not because I took it in grade school, actually I took Spanish in grade school, but uh, because it seemed different and uh, it actually has a lot more uses than I thought it would. You know? Like yesterday night I went to see the Matrix and I noticed that I was the only person laughing <clears throat> after the uh, French part until they translate me, so <laughs> French can be rather bad. I love the show ER, I watch it every week. And in the recent episode, they were in Africa doing work, and everybody in the uh, village uh, spoke French because it was a, uh, a French controlled country. And, uh, you know, my family was sitting there, and my mom and dad both took French, and they had no idea what they were saying, and they didn't have subtitles for uh, most of the dialogue because it was just supposed to be like background, but I could really understand what they were saying, and, uh, and I, I, felt, I felt good about myself and my French knowledge because. That. Um, I took French because my sister, a year older than me, also took French, and I thought that maybe she could actually help me with it, but I actually turned out a couple years in the French, I was actually helping her a little bit. And uh, I chose French because it's the language of love. And but, uh, you know, also I went to New York City over the summer, and I'm walking down Broadway, and Broadway stars are coming out, and I gotta get their audio. So, but I didn't have any pen, I didn't have a pen on me, so I turned around to the person behind me. And they didn't speak English, so I started doing hand signals, and they're totally lost. But they spoke French, so I was able to ask for a pen in French, and because of that, I got an autograph. So even in New York City, French.